few announcements. You, know, you may have noticed um, in our weekly envelopes, we've started putting them in for the cemeteries. Uh, we own the cemeteries of St. Matthew's, St. Francis, and Holy Family. One of the things you may not know is that we do perpetual upkeep of the cemeteries. Um, a lot of cemeteries, specifically like in Oklahoma City, they charge for, per for perpetual upkeep when you uh, purchase your plot. For instance, for my dad's plot at Resurrection Cemetery was roughly $6,000 to help pay for the plot, but also for perpetual um, care for, those, for the cemetery and for those plots. We don't have any perpetual care worked into the price of the plots at the cemeteries, so we've put in envelopes to help offset some of the costs that we have of upkeeping the cemeteries. Uh, in the past, we've had a lot of volunteers help with the cemeteries. I know some of you are still wanting to do that with a lot of the cemeteries, but I know we've had a lot of um, things go undone, especially when it rains a lot. We've got to make sure that get everything um, taken care of. So we may have to actually hire someone part-time um, to help care for the different cemeteries, making sure everything's getting taken care of. So we put those envelopes um, in um, your stacks for envelopes and in the bulletin. Um, please uh, give if you're able to and be generous in doing so, so we don't have to raise any prices in the future for cemetery plots. This Wednesday is September 7th, which is our teaching mass. Uh, if you have a child receiving a sacrament this year, First Communion or Confirmation, parents need to be at that mass as well, as well as the first class on the 14th. We're having a parents' meeting, but also an adult class on the 14th. So this Wednesday is our teaching mass beginning at 6.30 for all of our RE children, as well as for all of our adults. But specifically, we need to have the parents for um, those children who will be receiving sacraments at both of those classes. Uh, Women's Guild will be having a meeting in the multipurpose room on Monday, September 12th. So not tomorrow, but next Monday at 6.30. And then two weeks from today, September 18th, is our parish picnic. That'll happen after Mass. There's a sign-up sheet in the vestibule uh, for the Women's Guild uh, who are providing the desserts for that um, great festivity. Um, so if you're able to bring a dessert, please sign up on there um, so we can know we'll have enough desserts so we don't have to go out and buy anything extra. As tomorrow is a... Um, I was going to say a holiday of obligation. It's not. Tomorrow's a federal holiday, uh, so the offices uh, will be closed um, if you have any questions about any of these things, um, feel free to contact, talk, contact the office on Tuesday or Wednesday, um, and we'll be happy to help you with those. The Lord be with you.